interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Jonathan India at the plate. Leading off from Cincinnati, the designated hitter. Jonathan India. And another ball. Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And here is Spencer Steer. Next offering is foul back. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Tyler Stevenson now at the plate. Two on, one out. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Kicks and fires. Out to short. It's through for a hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Stuart Fairchild digs in now. The one two. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. Now it's Nick Senzel. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in, now a long throw home. It's oh, offline, good. the run comes in, and they take a two-run lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Next offering misses down and away. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And he grounds one to the right side. And that's just foul. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Lined, and that's a base hit. Here comes Stevenson around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Here's Alex Verdugo. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Two-two down. Just misses with that one. Caught a break oh, right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that wall. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Good power. Not great in the OBP department.
Verdugo. The board here at first with nobody out. And Devers hits that one. Reaching for it and brings it in. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's Not about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. The 1-1. One -one. And strike two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Fraley. Fraley. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Everything came together for him. Not just enough. a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Double play ball to second. They get the tag on him. How about that double play? In now for the Reds, Jonathan India. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 where they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator, turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Here's a 1-1. And that one missing low. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. That one fouled off, 2-2. Two and two. Got him swinging. Now batting Jaron Duran. 1-1 one, one now. And that one is lifted in the air. Barrero under it. Makes the catch for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. And he deals. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Back here in Boston. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Matt McClain. McClain. The 1-1. One -one been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one Cassis on to first one up one down that's what a good sinker is designed to do get a guy to roll over a little bit hit the ball on the ground kill some worms while you're at it one down base is empty Bounced out to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Tyler Stevenson singled and scored his first time. Ball to strike. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. That misses. It's two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, yeah. 
Swing and a base hit. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next to hit, Stuart Fairchild. On the ground, right side to first. And that is that. Back now at Venway. Here's Kike Hernandez. Well, no, Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. And now the rookie second baseman, number 47. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. The 1-1. That's to third. Senzel. Slings it across, and that ends the inning. Start of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Nick Senzel. The pitch. So now one and two. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. In the dirt. On to first. That's the first out in the top of the four. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. And here it comes. Falling behind two and one. Next oh, offering low. is down low. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park oh, and yeah. see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. The pitch just missed. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And that is cut on and missed. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Ball Next three. offering is outside. And that one lifted in the air center field. Durant drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. The right fielder. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Rafael Devers. He's over one. 
Dever. The 1 1. And that's downstairs and outside. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. Ladies Jarrett Talley coming into the game now is the injury replacement. For the Red. Now playing now so now Turner in on that right side. 0 for 1 so far. Talley. That smash towards center. And there are two down. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Swing and a miss. Fastball okay. almost got him there. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The kick, the 3 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Justin Garza. He's pitching on two days rest. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox. Number 63. Justin. And now the center fielder, Jose Barrero. He hit into a double play his first time up. Jose Barrero. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball oh. evens the count. It's a good take. Liner, base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next that's offering is downstairs. Not the easiest Two thing. One. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The 2 1. No, that's the ball. And there's the strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swings and misses, struck him out. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Steer. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And a foul ball. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. There's a swing and a drive. Durant ranging back, back some more. To the warning track, makes the catch. Runner tags and goes to third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. The 2 1. On the ground. Gets it to first, and that is that.
Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's going to be Jaron Duran. Swings and misses. Two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but that one ripped. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. Now batting Tristan Casas. Grounded out his first time. Here's a 1-1. Yeah, that's outside. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next pitch misses outside. Ball three. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out got? of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Casas tries to check his swing. Now to look to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. Base hit, left center field. The run comes in from second, and it's now a two-run game. Comes through with the RBI. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Swing and a miss. And the count. One and two. The one, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's the second baseman. Number 47. He's over for one. two swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field drops into the glove and there's two down Connor Wong getting ready to hit grounded out his first time up there's a 1-1 good eye in that spot Casas off of first with two away Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Out to short. Rolls across the diamond, and Verdugo is set down. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Back here in Boston, top of the sixth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Stuart Fairchild. And a 1 1. Well, these Reds really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now here is Jarrett Talley. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking for his first big league hit right here. The one two swings through that one it's a strikeout now one away Kevin Newman will hit next the second base one base for two Kevin Newman.
is a 1 1. And there's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Fouls it off, still 1 and 2. Pickoff throw. Fairchild dives back in safely. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye right there. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Now move to first. Fairchild back in standing. Three, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, now, now. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Runner on the goal. Two ball. Two Throw, ball. save! Fairchild at second with two down. Next pitch misses way outside. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Duran has a beat on it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back inside Fenway Park, bottom of the six, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. The wind and the pitch. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Here's Justin Turner. The designated hitter. Justin Turner. 2-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. No. That one just misses and the count's Good full. Job. And the pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches. For this game. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. And he walked it. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk. But this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. New pitcher for the Reds, Kevin Hergen. And he's had three days off since he pitched last. So expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, double play, and the inning is over. Chris Martin on a pitch out of the pen here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the center fielder, Jose Barrero. The center fielder, Jose Barrero. Ball to strike. The pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate.
just off the outside edge. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Duran makes the grab one down. So the batting order turns over. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. India. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. Right handed reliever. Still two and two after the foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at bat alive. Okay. Next one is off the play. Full count now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. McClain. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. And the righty deals. Got it by him for the K. Back in Boston, and now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Ball to strike. And there's a ball. Next pitch is downstairs. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now Tristan Casas. That one ripped but foul. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Enrique Hernandez. The next to hit. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. A 1-1. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Way inside and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. The 3-1. Knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Always feels amazing getting a job done when a team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. At the play, Connor Wong. Two balls, one strike. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. That's a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. That one the other way. Throw gets by him at second. Run comes in from second. It's 3-3. Fernando Cruz on the pitch here. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Number 63. So digging in, Alex Verdugo. 
And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The 1-1. One -one. Foul ball. The 1-2. And oh. now 2-2. Two and two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Raphael Devers up to hit. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And now it's three and two. Ripped on the ground a second. Newman to first in time. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. In the air, left side. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Next offering is in for a strike. Swung on, belted. That one's deep. And gone. A solo blast. Third home run of the season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 4-3. One down. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. Got on the mound. This is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Next one misses, and a count is three and a one. Three ball, one strike. Ground ball, left foul. side, and foul ball. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So up next, Jarrett Talley. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Tapped softly on the ground. Sends it to first. That's the third out. Back here at Fenway Park. Now it's the DH. Justin Turner. The designated hitter. That pitch in for a strike, and it's two and two. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Lucas Sims gets the ball now. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. On the ground to the left, McLean on the run, sends it over to first, and that quickly two away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. The next oh. offering misses. Three and one. Three There's a strike. Watch out. Oh. 
Swing and a miss, and that is that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Josh Winkowski. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. So digging in, Kevin Newman. The second base, Kevin Newman. One one now, and that one just missed off the outside edge. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Caught him looking for the K. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley, one for three. Here's a one one. And that one wrapped foul. One run game here at the top of the ninth. That's Started to go to one swing. two. A check on it to third. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Two two now. Stays alive. Two two. Swings and misses. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Two outs, base is empty. In now for the Reds, Jose Barrero. The 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. That one ran inside, almost got him. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. So now three and two and oh. down on strikes and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three. Alexis Diaz taking over on the mound left handed batter at the plate and he's been excellent in those matchups this year so this seems like a calculated move. So stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. The first base. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The why to kick the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. One and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Breaking ball inside. Two and two. Struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Here's the shortstop at the play. Enrique Hernandez. Quarter infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Two and one now. Comes up empty. That's strike two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. That one 95 to finish him off. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. Yeah. 
Swings and misses. Now one and two. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it. Oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Oh, man. One strike away from getting out of this inning, and he missed just badly. Not sure what went wrong with his delivery, but something was clearly off. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball and run around the goal. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one two runner on the go again. Got him! And that's the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.